boy, CD Warner 77. Signing back in, coming at you live and direct. Uh, so today, I want to do a quick gun review on a nice piece of artillery. Um, it's a Smith & Wesson. It's called the Smith & Wesson SD9BE, right? Um, nine millimeter compact self-defense firearm. Would you guys take a look at that? Pretty nice, like it's a polymer gun, okay? Um, Smith & Wesson is known for making quality um, firearms. So, let's, for your safety nuts, let's start the video off by checking everything, make sure it's safe. So nothing in the mag, as you guys can see. We do a press check, there's nothing in the chamber, nothing in the mag well, right? So let's jump right into it. Um, this particular one holds 16 plus round capacity, so it's 16 in the mag and one loaded in a chamber of 9 millimeter. Um, out the box, it comes with two um, chrome plated magazines. Um, and just ergonomically, just grabbing it, feels good in my hand. Um, has a nice deep uh, beaver tail, small back strap on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so for a person with big hands like me, you want to get a good high purchase on the firearm, right? So as you can see with that grip, it makes for you having a good firing grip. Okay, so if you wanted a good firing grip where you can press, right? Um, high beaver tail, nice bore axis, low bore axis if that. Came with some nice sights on there. Um, you know, so um, fire accuracy right out the box, shooting it, it's really, really nice. Really, really light gun. I think when I weighed it with the magazine without no ammunition in it, it came to 22 and a half pounds. Um, it's made in the USA. Again, Smith & Wesson makes great firearms. Let's lock this back. So if you get a good close look about a gun, um, nice polymer, uh, modular piece. Has a long trigger pull out the box. Uh, I think it was like it came out like almost eight and a half pounds. Um, but my buddy changed out the trigger and he has an apex trigger, so now it's like four and a half pounds on the trigger pull. So let's get into it. So, what does the Smith the Wesson SD VE stand for? Um, Smith the Wesson pretty much made this one a defensive, almost carry handgun for beginners. It's a budget pistol, it, it's at the store, it range from 299 to 349 for nine millimeter. And it also comes in a 40 uh, caliber Smith & Wesson. Um, so it's a budget option. Um, so if you're just starting out into firearms and you're looking for your first gun, a good shooter with a quality name, not like a knockoff or some off budget name, Smith & Wesson is a good thing to go. Um, you know, um, polymer handgun, like I said, um, came out in 2011. Um, and I think for the money, it kind of looks like a Glock 19, quiet as a kept, I ain't gonna even lie. I heard they got sued and had to settle with Glock because it does kind of look like a Glock frame. You know, you have your, it has a little bit more deep serrated serrations front and rear here and here, but the frame overall looks like a uh, Glock 19. It has the same takedown level as a Glock 2 here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the takedown level, which means you have to take it Pull down, rack this to the back, and press the trigger and the slide will come off when you want to fill strip and clean the weapon. Um, that is not an ambidextrous safety, but you can switch it to the other side. Your safety is here by your trigger guard. You have a pivot trigger, which is a safety, so it wasn't it won't depress unless you press it all the way back. It has a lot of travel and a lot of creep in it, and the gun is clear. So you listen to the trigger. And it's pointing in a safe direction. See how long it is? It's a long take up. Not as bad as the stock trigger. So when you let the gun strike and reset, the reset is still kind of long. Crisp break, but definitely a long trigger. Um, with that being said, uh, I like the grip texturing on here too. Um, it's not too aggressive You're on the rear and the front, but also on the sides has a nice grip texturing here 
Um, as far as the sights, you know, the front sight is a metal front sight. The rear are polymer, so they're plastic. Now these has two uh, red high vis sights for your eyes, which works pretty fine. Um, real accurate on sight from 10 to 15 yards. Um, it also has a chamber indicator. I don't know if you guys can see that up there. So when it's loaded, you can visually see it's nothing that protrudes. It's flush, but you can actually see something in the chamber. Or I always say be safe. I always know the condition of your firearm anyway, know if it's loaded. Now you can always do a press check or whatever, but you know, that's another story. Um, pretty much um, the weight of it, like I said, is nice. It's a, it's a pretty decent gun, man. Um, the SDV-9 pretty much stands for self-defense uh, enhanced value. Uh, so it means they pretty much made a, a budget-minded gun um, for the consumer who don't want to pay five, six hundred dollars for a Glock or seven hundred dollars for a Springfield or anything like that. Um, so, like I said, compact is it something you can carry? Yeah, you know. Now, is it as small as a subcompact? If you do the comparison, which this is a Springfield SDS four and a half inch barrel, four inch barrel. If you put them side by side. It's pretty much right there. Even if you look at the the grips, if you guys can see that. Uh, so it's like pretty much you can carry this, and this obviously my SDS has the extended mag and not the flush mag. But if you see from all angles, it's about the same as far as the way. They look size wise so with that being said you definitely could uh you could definitely uh use this as a carry or home defense firearm you know like i said uh, feels good man smith and wesson is known for good quality firearms this also has where you can index the finger away from the trigger like a nice little stippling here little groove where you can just automatically develop that muscle memory and put your finger there to so keep it indexed away from the trigger same thing when you're doing your firing grip they have one so your thumb's supposed to make that second point of contact so a lot of you people know who train with me and shoot know that i believe you're supposed to have the right proper shooting grip so they have the thumb in the section here with the stippling on so you'll know how to be able to put that here so when you press it's that muscle memory you have your forest thumbs grip see that so, yeah, man, it's a nice firearm, man. I can't complain. Nice, it's 16 plus one. So, nice high capacity, takes a nine millimeter. I shot some 115 grain ball ammo FMJ um, at the range. Then I tried some 124. Uh, no hiccups, no uh, stove piping, no misfeeds. Um, yeah, you know, I, have, I own a couple of Smith & Wesson firearms as well. And, um, uh, you know, quality is there. Can't complain about it, man. So, just something quick to talk about. So, like I said, with that being said, man, you know, made right here in the USA product, uh, name brand product, Smith & Wesson, you can trust. Um, great budget firearm for somebody that want to start off from the beginning and don't want to spend, like I said, a lot of, a lot of money. Um, I would look into this, man. Like I said, it comes in two calibers, 9mm and the uh, 40 Smith & Wesson. Both great defensive rounds, um, high velocity rounds. Um, like I said, for the budget minded consumer or just a shooter who just being introduced to the firearms culture, uh, hey man, I would look into this. I would definitely recommend a Smith & Wesson SD9BE, um, which stands, like I said, self defense, nine millimeter, um, you know, value, enhanced value. So, value enhanced, yeah. Um, Awesome little firearm, man. Like I said, I can't complain. You guys tell me what you want to be in front of that for. It's still a good firearm. So anyway, just a quick review, man. It's not going to be a long video, but um, let me know if you guys like this firearm and do you own it. You know, I mean, you have any bad things to say about it. I think it's a great starter firearm, man. You know, hey, let me know. Like and subscribe and leave some comments in the box on my followers. I appreciate the support. I reached over 500 subscribers for a baby channel in a few months, which is great. So you guys keep liking and subscribing and sharing. 
Um, and I appreciate it, man. It's your boy, City 177, signing out. Peace. Holla.